disgrace. I want you and Tracy to take over my agency and run Daring Investigators. Ago, just just before she died. She's beautiful. Yeah, I remember that Christmas. A bad case of acne. <laughs> so you want me to type in pimple to access our case? Uh, th there's something about the picture. I, I don't know, th the angel maybe? No, it's my mother's hand. Dad always said she had the touch of an angel. bracelet. Forever? An anniversary gift from my dad. Type it in. Vitex Industries, one of the world's top electronics firms. Their latest invention, the smart cam surveillance camera, is very high tech, very dangerous in the wrong hands. One of the prototypes was stolen from its research lab. The company wants it back. Shouldn't the, uh, the police or military be tracking it down? They are, but the company wants a backup. We're it. This is way out of our league. We can handle it. I know you can. Good luck. We have to treat all our cases with a positive attitude. My life has been turned upside down because some trained assassin we call Chin Man tried to murder my dad, and you want me to have a positive attitude? Right. Look on the bright side of life. You're my partner, not a motivational speaker. Fine. Then you stay here, Mo, and I'll go get the bad guys. Tell me something. Have you ever once listened to someone else's opinion? Sure, I listened. Just never took it. The smart cam is the ultimate electronic imaging. It uses x-rays and magnetic resonance imaging to create a three-dimensional body scan of an individual. Now, each body type is unique, so once programmed into the smart cam, that person can always be identified. And if someone's not programmed in? Then they're considered an intruder and denied entry. How? Well, the smart cam will automatically lock them in and sound the alarm, or worse. Mr. Millstone, sorry to disturb you, but it's Lieutenant Murphy on the line. Uh, Miss Boxwood uh, was with this company before I arrived. She knows every file, every memo, every nut and bolt in this operation. When she gets sick, we have to close down the plant. You'll excuse me? 27 years I've been here, and nothing has ever happened like this. Miss Boxwood, besides locking the intruder in, what else can the smart cam do? It can zap him. Excuse me? Zap him dead. You say they've all checked out? Yes, sir. Every Vidtex employee who was ever fired or thought to have a grudge against the company. So, that puts us at square zero. What's your phone, sir? Lieutenant Murphy's office. Yes. Yes, he is. Lieutenant, it's the agency. What agency? Murphy here. Yes. Yes, I understand completely. Y yes, you can count on me, sir. Federal agents have tracked an arms dealer from Romania to here in Rockwater. They suspect he's arrived with several million dollars to purchase the stolen smart cam. They want us to keep tabs on him. He report his every move. This sounds big. big. This dealer will lead us right to the thief. With any luck, we'll catch them both. Look. This is the one. 
Which one, Lieutenant? The one that moves me up to Captain. Can you do that outside? I'm trying to concentrate. Practicing in tight spaces gives me the edge. Yeah, well, it gives me a headache. I'm checking out the possibility of industrial espionage. High-tech competitors who might want to rip off the smart cam. Spy camera that thinks. Man, I wish they'd invent a basketball like that. Why? So it's programmed to score with every shot? What fun would that be? Come on, winning's everything. Don't tell that to someone on your first date. Daring investigators. It's Bobby. I saw her. She's at our school. Who? The girl we saw with Chin Man in the DVT footage of the antique store. How can you be sure? I saw what I saw. She was in the net cafe. You better get over here quick. I, um, better go check that out. Right. You want me to come? Um, no. Uh, why don't you stay here and work on the case? I'll handle this alone. Tracy, uh, where's Dick? He just left for school. Well, I was calling to ask you to send me any surveillance you've collected on the antique store. I want to check any faces against Chin Man's known contacts. Yeah, sure. I'll download the file right now. By the way, Tracy, I'd be meaning to say you're doing a good job. Thanks. Uh, maybe you should tell that to your son. I need him to be strong, Tracy. This Chin Man's a very dangerous guy. He won't stop till he's got exactly what he wants. What does he want? Me, dead. But you already are in his eyes. Maybe not dead enough. Just put it on the table. This arms dealer, known to the agency as Polenka, is constantly on the move. They figure the exchange for the smart cam will take place before 5 p.m. tomorrow because that's when Polenka's booked to fly back to Romania. Did I call a coffee break? I've got six of my finest trailing Polenka right now. When the drop comes, we'll be there. What else did you find in storage? Uh, a oh, two-quarter-inch tape decks, a hands-free telephone headset, three speaker phones on oh, this top-of-the-line CD player, 200 CD storage capacity, current pulse DA converter, advanced mega storage CD control, manual crossfades, cold-plated line output. Do you have any idea what we're doing here? The agency is counting on us. Oh, I understand, sir. I'm just not sure why all this equipment... What if one of my men calls to alert us that Palenka's on the move? We have it on tape. What if we intercept Palenka's call to whoever he's buying a smart cap for? We have it on tape. What if someone goes soft and calls to turn in the thief himself? We have it on tape. What if nobody calls? So, any sign of a mysterious sales girl? I've been through the whole school. I've asked everybody nothing. I think Bobby's losing it. I've narrowed down this potential espionage thing to one company. Confid Industries. They do military contracts. And they also steal other people's designs. Twice in six years. Then how can they still be in business? Cousin of the Under Secretary of Defense is on their board. Yeah, well, if you ask me, this whole thing should be handled by the pros. What is your problem with this case, anyway? Look, don't get me wrong. I'm all for national security and all that, but don't you think we should be spending more of our time on Chin Man? I mean, he's in our backyard. Doesn't that make you slightly nervous? Of course it does. But I also think that we should trust your dad when he says take it one step at a time. You don't even know my dad. Maybe he's so stressed out he can't think straight. Oh. Then I guess you two are more alike than I thought. Meaning? Meaning you're not thinking really straight right now either. We need to 
find someone at Confid who's, who's angry enough with the company to give us any information about illegal dealings. I'm sure the bosses are going to love you. Well, it won't get to them. I'm only emailing the message to middle management and below. Well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to check the halls one more time while you, you know. Oh, if you see her, give her my best. This girl's going to lead us to the chin man. I can feel it in my gut. You sure it's not the flu? Daring investigators, Burn speaking. This is Lieutenant Murphy. Good. Hey, Lieutenant, how may I help you? I've just learned your agency's been retained in the Smart Cam case. I'm assuming Dick and Tracy have a superior. I'd like to speak to him. I'm afraid that information is classified. Vern, you seem like a reasonable enough fellow, so why don't you just put me through? I'm not at liberty to do that. You're talking to an officer of the law. I need to talk to him. We have to cooperate. It's a matter of national security. Oh, that does change things. One moment, please. Vern? Vern? Daring investigators, how may I help you? It's me, Murphy. You put me on hold. Oh, that does change things. One moment, please. Vern? Vern? I see. Two can play this game. for leads from disgruntled confident employees about any criminal activities within their company. Let's just hope we get some answers in time. Ah, Rockwater High's finest. I just had a chat with your illustrious colleague, Vern. Charming fellow. Could use some work on his social skills. Here's a message for whoever's running your investigation. Just tell them they're already three steps behind the police. Let's meet in your office. Lieutenant Murphy and federal agents are uh, tracking an arms dealer named Polinka. They suspect he's here to buy this market. Then we better find the thief first. Let's see if anyone at Confit Industries had the courage to speak up. We have some replies already. Last month, I saw our marketing director leave the building late at night with Miss Amber, his newly hired 19-year-old secretary. Uh, there's another one. Our chief of operations, Mr. McHaggerty, took a cab ride to pick up his son after school and build it to the company as a promotional expense. Serious stuff. Hey, there's one more. Hi, Tracy. I enjoy getting your email. Unfortunately, this is where the game ends. Love, confidence, and security. So your email to Confid Industries was intercepted by upper management. Now we have no way of knowing if Confid was behind the theft of the smart camp. That's why we called you. We're a little stuck. We can't get any more information. You have all you need. If Confid stole the camera, they'd copy it and market it themselves. Only an individual would sell the camera to the highest bidder. Yeah, but if it's an individual, then it has to be an inside job. And everyone at Vidtex checks out. Anyone that's smart enough to bypass a state-of-the-art security system is smart enough to slip detection. So how do we catch them? Slippery characters feel the heat. Slippery characters feel the heat? Profound. Well, why didn't I think of that? You will. With more training. Good luck. I won't be cooking tonight. I have a yoga class till 9.30. Just promise me you won't order in. Promise. Good. Uh, help yourself to whatever's in the fridge. I always try to keep it full of the right food. And Claire, um, can I ask you something? Sure. How would you know if you were dealing with um, a slippery character? What are you doing? Years of aggressive introspection have only begun to heal the wounds from my ex-fiance. He was the prince of slippery. 
One week before our wedding, he slipped away with my best friend. Was there anything that could have clued you into how slippery he was? As the wedding approached, he became more and more nervous, and the more nervous he got, the sweatier his hands became. Slippery characters always feel the heat. Mission control for Bob. It's field agent time. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. <sighs> Say, Henry, have you ever seen another girl around here that looks like her? Blonde, beautiful, looks like she doesn't belong? Uh uh. Look, Henry. I know that you stand on this spot every spare period. That's an hour and a half each day. So you couldn't help noticing her? Uh-uh. cam at the main entrance is the last. They're now set up at all the exit points throughout the building. And each one has been programmed with a new sensing feature that we've asked for? When the smart cam identifies someone with that peculiarity, it should sound the alarm, but I warn you, it's untested. Yeah, well, so's our theory. This could be the dumbest idea we've ever come up with. Excuse me, Mr. Millstone, but uh, what exactly is this new feature you're referring to? I'm sorry, Ms. Boxwood, but if our plan is going to work, we need to operate on a need-to-know basis. Of course. I understand. This could take some time. Why don't I go out and get us a little something? Thanks. The smart cam exchange is going down any time now. And I'll be there. But... What if whoever stole the smart cam left before we ever set up all the cameras? And now he's passing it on to, to, to Palenka, the arms dealer. Then the authorities will catch him in the act. Oh, he's too smart for that. He'll just lay low and, and find another buyer. <laughs> Miss Boxwood? Let go of me! I'm sorry, Miss Boxwood. Please accept my sincere apologies. Release her. She hardly looks the type. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for all of this. I told you that feature was untested. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have to get snacks for everyone. Wait! The new sensing feature in the smart cam worked pretty well, eh? Calculating the amount of perspiration on someone's palm just may be a surveillance breakthrough. Well, it caught Miss Boxwood. <laughs> Poor Murphy. When he arrested her, I thought he was going in to arrest himself. What I can't get over is how she managed to bypass the security system and steal the smart cam. Well, 27 years around high-tech technology, something's bound to rub off, even for you. And she did all this just to get even with some company who was forcing her into early retirement? And for two million bucks. Daring investigators. You gotta get over here. What's up? It's her, the girl from the antique store. I swear it. Bobby, I searched the entire school, okay? I asked everybody. 
Trust me, the girl you saw is not the one from the surveillance footage. Are you willing to bet Dad's life on it? <laughs> <laughs>